crafters. Welcome to another episode of Corinne's Craft Closet. I'm really excited about this video because I've been seeing all these projects online involving old tapestries and old handmade textiles. So when I saw these shoes on Tumblr, I knew my old wedges were destined for a makeover. Alrighty, you want to start out this project by taking a good look at your shoe and making a plan of attack. I'm going to cover this wedge in sections starting with the zipper side. There's going to be four sections on this side and three sections on the other side. Starting with one section, position the doily how you want it. You can use a clothespin to hold it on there. Then use a paintbrush to paint Mod Podge onto that one section. Press that area of doily down onto the glue and cut away the non-glued areas following the ridges that already exist in the shoes. Remove the clothespin and cut the doily along the top of the shoe. Then glue it down where you couldn't when it was pinned. Now seal that whole section by using paintbrush to stipple glue on top of the doily. Make sure to be thorough when you do this. You don't want any large globs or puddles of glue just hanging out. Then repeat all that for section number two. For the other side of the shoe, the top part will be all one section since you don't have to worry about a zipper. The wedge will be two sections on both sides. When you're positioning the doily for the wedge sections, you can just kind of hold it there with your hand instead of using the clothespin. This process takes a little time, and be sure to be manipulating the doily to fill in any spaces as you go. It's actually really forgiving, so just have fun with it. And when you're all done, you're going to let them dry overnight. I love how they came out, and now want to doily decoupage everything. If you decide to do the doily, make sure to upload pics to the craft flicker pool. I would love to see your work, and until next time, keep it crafty.